what's going on y'all so it's been a hot minute since i've updated you guys since i told you i was pregnant uh here we are today today is august 15th uh 22 and a lot has been going on so i'm here i'm going to update y'all on just everything that has been going on with my life pretty much so from the time that i told you guys that i was pregnant i had to um you know i got the blood work done confirmed that i was pregnant uh after that point um i kind of started like feeling um i guess sick you know a little bit but um i ended up going to go get a ultrasound at seven weeks and basically um my initial prenatal appointment wasn't until august 23rd which as we know is hasn't even come up yet which um i would have been about 12 weeks i would have been 12 weeks for me that wasn't um close enough usually typically when you get prenatal appointments your first prenatal appointment is eight weeks to 12 weeks but the fact that you know 12 weeks just didn't sit well with me especially with it being a first pregnancy for me so i called them and asked for a ultrasound um because i, I want to know where the baby at you know what i'm saying so i got a ultrasound done at seven weeks uh which i kind of kept it a little bit under wraps um but basically this is my first ultrasound as you see that little thing right here is the baby so that's my seven week so i during that appointment which was just an ultrasound i got the opportunity to hear the baby's heartbeat and see a glob um after that point i have been feeling uh nauseous um and what i mean by nauseous is not really able to um at first it started out with just putting food in my mouth and being nauseous then it went to me throwing up um for the last couple of weeks i have not really been able to eat much um on top of all of that I have high blood pressure, which I've always had high blood pressure. It went away shortly um, for about a year after I had my weight loss surgery in 2016. However, it ended up um, coming back uh, with my job and me not being able to um, control what I eat. Uh, so I had gained 40 pounds back and ended up getting my high blood pressure back. So uh, ever since then, it hasn't been able to be really super controlled. I take a pill, uh, which I ask for it to be a pregnancy-friendly uh, blood pressure pill, which is nifedamine. And um, I've been taking that before I was even pregnant because I knew that I wanted to get pregnant. So I take that once a day. And my blood pressures have been better than what they have been in the past, um, but still not 100% like great. Um, an example, like today, uh, I got my blood pressure taken and it was, uh, 140 over, um, I think she said 79. <clears throat> so my top number was high, but the bottom number was fine. So yeah, um, I ended up getting lab work done and my iron is low. So my iron has been low. I'm anemic. I've known I've been anemic since 2016 after my weight loss surgery. However, the anemia, as far as pregnancy goes, has been um, an issue. So now we fast forward to I had a PCP appointment with a new primary doctor. And she deemed it to be not okay for me to have a prenatal pill i'm at a prenatal visit that i'm at um yeah that far out which was uh august 23rd so she said hey we're gonna just make you an appointment here at this particular hospital so which was fine because literally two three days later i ended up getting an appointment with prenatal who then sent me out for um a whole bunch of labs and deemed me high risk 
So I am now a high risk pregnancy uh, because of my blood pressure, um, because of my anemia, and because of my age. I'm 39 years old. So um, with me being deemed high risk comes more labs um, today. One, I got stuck another one right here today. And then I got stuck here. Lord, I'm over these needles already. <laughs> so, so child, don't take no more blood. When I saw the first one, she took like 15 tubes. I nearly fell out on the floor. So, yeah. And um, I now have to get iron infusions. So, I have an appointment next week with uh, hematology in order to start the setup for um, iron infusions. Which I'm not looking forward to because, honestly... I already have a lot of appointments. Um, I already had, um, today I had three appointments. I had, um, it looks like I had four appointments today. I had um, primary for pap smear and breast exam. I had to go make an uh, appointment for labs. So I had to go get labs done. Then I had to go get um, a 12 week ultrasound. Uh, today and then I had to go back for labs to get more labs done because they wanted to check the baby as far as um, Down syndrome and X and Y chromosomes and abnormalities. Um, so I'm tired today. I'm tired. I'm burnt the fuck out. Burnt out. So um, I have an appointment tomorrow with cardiology because I found out I have a heart murmur which I already knew I had sinus arrhythmia, but now I have a heart murmur. So I have to go see cardiology tomorrow morning on top of hematology next week, followed behind another primary doctor visit, followed behind another appointment with maternal fetal medicine. So I'm starting to notice that this whole pregnancy thing is just appointment after appointment after appointment not to mention my doctor had put me kind of on the slight bed rest for like two weeks um just because of the fact that it just um it just was just it was too much of my body i was exhausted when i say i had zero energy zero energy uh, like i said i barely was eating um my sleeping habits were like way off i'm sleeping all during the day up at night halfway back to sleep uh, it was just like my sleeping habits were so crazy when I'm so used to getting like three hours of sleep and being fine. I have never slept so much in my life and the baby's wearing me down. Um, on top of that, I have been having cramps in my abdomen, which um, I found out today, which I already knew that I had fibroids and cysts. I found out today that my um, fibroids have grown. They were back in um, April, five centimeters. Now they are 7.7. .7. Hence why I'm feeling pain in my my uh, gut area. Because one, as the baby grows, they're probably going to grow. Two, they feel like when you are about to get your uh, cramps and you're about to get your cycle. That's what they feel like constantly all day. And as blood is flowing through, you know, the uterus, they're growing lord have mercy so i asked them today like you know i asked my primary just about um you know do they ever remove fibroids you know on pregnant women because somebody told me that um you know you can remove them up to four months so therefore um that's something else i have to like find out she's going to get back to me about because if i can get them removed i probably will because they are painful I had already had intentions anyway of getting them removed. So that they can't remove them while being pregnant. Because as they grow and the baby grows, the baby, they can basically um, force the baby, the baby to stay a certain way. Which could be uncomfortable for the, the growth, which then it could be uncomfortable for me. So, I just see pain in my near future. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But... On the bright side, I did get a chance to see my little nugget today, uh, my littles, as I call them. I use them and they um, because I don't want to say he or she. I don't want to jinx myself, so therefore, it's it's the baby is a um, they. They. So when I say they, people think like, oh, she's having twins. No, I'm not. It's only one single baby, and I have confirmation of that. 
So today I got the chance to see my little baby um, stretch their leg out today and move around and turn sides and which is real active, which I, I wish I could feel that now. Um, but in due time, I know I will. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get a bit the better of the picture for you guys. But this is the baby, little baby. So yes. So the baby had turned at some point. Little cute, cute little thing. Just like they mama. <laughs> but yes. Um, so my mom asked me today, am I excited? I am nervous about being a mother. Although I know I'm going to be a great mom because I've parented a whole lot of kids and I, I think I just, when it comes to my own, I think I'm just going to be um, amazing. Uh, so I just don't want to get excited until, you know, the time comes for me to have a baby move, you know, um, because things can happen. And I don't want to get too excited, but um, I find myself often wondering, hey, it, it, are you in there? You, you know, because like I said, I can't feel anything, so... But I could tell because, child, the stomach, I'm going to show you all my stomach if you can really, can't really see or see, but I got a stomach. Lord, I got a stomach. <sighs> yeah, so that's my update. I'm going to try to post more often once I have uh, things to say. You know, I know um, it's a journey and every day is something new. Uh, I said I've been stressed out. Um, sometimes I'm just wondering, was this the right idea? And I, I, it definitely is. And I'm excited for all that um, is to come. So, yeah. I hope everybody's well.